notorious for its weather, and I guess a lot of people get stuck on it a lot. So. To see what it's like to be a plow driver in winter, we went to one of the most notorious stretches of road in the state. This is Route 101 and Temple Mountain. This can be an extremely tricky section of road because of the corners. The job of keeping people safe here falls on these guys, the DOT crew in District 4 in Temple. Tough. It can be long, you know, it can be here for a couple days, uh, depending on the snowstorms. Adam Dunning is a storm veteran, used to getting early morning marching orders. I'm thinking it's probably mostly just slushy stuff. He's been plowing for 10 years, and today will be no different. Taking care of the roads, making it safe for people, it's a lot of fun. For drivers like Adam, you have to be able to multitask out here. They're watching passing cars and winding roads, all while operating a main plow and a wing and putting down salt and sand when needed. Put the dump body up and down, front plow up and down, front plow angle. Uh, this is the front of the wing, this is the cable for the wing, and this is the slide for the wing. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons and levers, but uh, I guess once you get used to it, it's actually pretty simple. Plow drivers follow specific guidelines about when to treat and when to plow. We always scrape as much as we can. Uh, you know, the more you get off the road, the, the better it is. And the, the less material you have on the road, the better the salt and sand will work for you. There are seven snow plows that work in this area of New Hampshire. It is 19-year veteran Glenn Kirby's job to supervise those drivers and some 90 lane miles of state roads around Temple. We have several weather sites throughout the state. And just like everything else these days, modern technology is lending a hand. I can look at a camera in Westmoreland and see that the storm has started. Glenn uses a series of road cameras to get a visual on the snow and also special software that uses weather sensors to get real-time air and road temperature and yes, how slippery it is. It actually track these levels of grip and see when they go back up, it indicates that they probably treated the road with salt at that time. Once a plan of attack is made, the old school work of plowing begins. And when a storm hits, these crews will work until it's over. Potentially, we could be out from basically 5 o'clock Tuesday night until sometime Thursday when we get the roads all cleaned up. But we're hoping that we can go home and get a break in between. They will sometimes catch those breaks in the wee hours of the morning. Here, the crew pitched in for a hot breakfast cooked up in the shed. Then, they catch a nap if they can. You never know where people are going to sleep, in chairs, in their vehicles, inside the barn, or I, uh, I find a, a spot with a pickup and just put the seat back and take a nap. Then it's back out to clearing. Glenn says in the middle of a storm, keeping a road down to pavement is next to impossible, mainly because they cover so much area. When you hear Kevin Scrupa say it's snowing two inches an hour, and it takes our trucks two hours or maybe a little bit more to get around that route, you do the math, you might find four inches of snow on the road that you're driving on which in places like Temple Mountain can lead to accidents if drivers don't slow down. I think it was two years ago now that the same pole was replaced, I think, three times in, in one winter. As Glenn is checking conditions, he sees a sign for tree work. If this is public service, obviously they have to restore power or whatever, but if it's a, uh, 
just a tree trimming company. I'm going to have to tell them to get off the road. Part of the job is making sure no one is near a slick road, putting lives at risk. Morning. You're going to go find a hiding spot. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. It'd be best. In fact, one of the biggest challenges plows face are people on the roads and drivers getting too close. The big thing that we that always say is, you know, don't crowd the plow, give us plenty of room to do our work, and, uh, you know, the sooner I can do my job, the sooner the roads get clear. Even though that can take days with little sleep, Adam loves it. He gets to experience snowstorms like few others. A lot of times, uh, you know, when you put salt out, it'll attract the deer and other wildlife, and, you know, come around the corner and there'll be 10, 15 deer in the middle of the road eating your salt, so that's kind of neat to see. I guess it's man against nature, but I mean, Mother Nature put it there, she'll take it away eventually, so. Uh, just there to assist, I guess, help her in the process, I guess.